I love meeting people. I love talking to people. I love that every day is different. I'm so pleased to be hosting this session this morning and to welcome you all to Toronto. This is a place of incredible dynamism, diversity, and this week, of course, so many distinguished guests. It is such a dynamic time in the industry. So Graham, let's talk a little bit about the big themes that we expect to hear. The work of documentary filmmakers is essential to help us separate fact from fiction. Tonight's nominated films uncover hidden stories, speak truth to power, and crucially, help us make sense of our world today. Here are the nominees for the Ted Rogers Best Feature Length Documentary, presented by Rogers. He's used his platform as a best-selling author and broadcaster to amplify his message of wellness. And he uses these platforms to educate us and help us. His latest book, released in January, is Keep Sharp, Build a Better Brain at Any Age. This year's international tribute is Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Welcome to the very first NCCN Canadian Muslim Town Hall with a federal party leader. Yes, you can call for that. What is your message to the people of New Brunswick, especially now that they have you know, seen this mass exodus? Welcome back. It's so nice to be in person after so long. A I know. A year and a half of doing like Zoom events. I know. So welcome and thank you for joining the program. Real Talk with the Commissioner, 416 to Forbes. But I wanted you to kind of take us back. Take us back to the beginning. Uh, you don't get here by not taking risks. And I'm not the only person who had to take risks. Um, those who hired me did as well. I'm just existing in a space in a way that hasn't been seen before. as Pat Antonacci, Chief Customer Experience Officer at Swift. So good to see you all. I've interviewed almost everybody on this stage. And now I'm pleased to turn the Canadian Club of Toronto's podium over to Ms. Massa and our, and our panelists. Thank you so much. I was really excited to be asked to be a part of this event. I think it's such an important conversation. Uh, we've been discussing the important issue of climate change, that it's no longer a future issue. So can you share your thoughts on how it's affecting us today? I mean, it's kind of an obvious question because some of us have seen the direct impacts of it. It is. And while today's session marks the end of this year's Cyboss, it does give us an ideal opportunity to look back on some of the many topics that we've tackled this week. 32 hours, more than 70 guests over four days on Cyboss TV. It's been amazing.